Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tambucha, and today we'll be using Cash US as the base to compare different window managers and desktop environments that I installed in my system, and we'll see how they stack up with one another in terms of memory use. Now this is the default KDE desktop that comes with Cache. It's pretty much the standard KDE desktop you get when you install it very reminiscent of Windows 7. Here is the Alacrity terminal with the NeoFetch. And as you can tell, I'm using Plasma 5.27.4. And yes, this is KDE on Kashi OS. Next up, we got my favorite lightweight window manager, which is IceWM. Now, IceWM it takes a lot of work to get it looking good. I mean, to me, it looks terrible out of the box, but with some effort, you can make it look pretty nice. Now here, I changed the default menu and I added the XFCE app finder tool to use as my menu instead. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna turn on NeoFetch for you guys to see. There you go, so it's using IceWM 3.3.3. Next up, we got my custom XFCE setup on Kashi OX. And here is the NeoFetch. It's running XFCE 4.18. And it's got the whisker menu my default menu for XFCE. Okay, so last but not least, can you guess what window manager is this? Well, some of you might be thinking, hey, doesn't that look a lot like the last one you showed me, XFCE? And uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? But Surprise, surprise, I'm using Openbox Window Manager with the XFCE panel. Because with Openbox, it basically is all you get with it is a window manager. So you can add any panel that you want. So if I wanted to make it look like KDE, I would add the KDE panel to it. Now, why would I want to do that? Some of you might be thinking, why don't I just use XFCE? Well, actually, it is a little bit lighter on resources than XFCE, but you know, basically I just like to fool around with things and experiment. So yeah, so that's my new customized open box. So before I made this video, I made some screenshots and what I'm going to do is use NeoFetch as the base. So as you can see here, this is the screenshot of my KDE uh, desktop. It's using the X11 version, not the Way Wayland version, by the way. Um, I find that is more compatible with my NVIDIA card. So according to NeoFetch, it's running over a gig of RAM. Now, if you run HTOP, you'll get a lower number, but I'm not debating how, you know, how much the system is running, how much RAM it's using. I'm just using NeoFetch as the base to compare them all. So that's your KDE, uh, which is the heaviest at over one gig of uh, RAM usage. Next up, we got XFCE 4.18 using the XF window manager and it's using 889 megs of RAM. Next, we got the open box window manager, my customized one that looks like XFCE and it's using 769 megs, so that's over 100 megs less. And finally, we got IceWM version 3.3.3 and according to NeoFetch, it's using 709 megs of RAM. One thing I want to note, guys. So with these lighter weight window managers, such as IceWM, OpenBox, it's not as easy to configure as something like an XFCE where you got a menu and you just click, type in a command and... For example, a key binding, you just enter your key bindings. For these lighter weight window managers, you have to actually uh, configure, the, 
configure them using uh, a text-based file. For example, open box. This is my auto start file. So instead of you know entering uh, everything in a GUI, I would actually use a text editor. I would have to know all the commands and everything I need uh, to run what I want for startup. So this here is my startup file here. So basically it launches a wallpaper, then a panel. It sets up my mouse speed. It sets up the compositor. It sets up, it adds the volume icon to the panel. It starts up Dunce, which is a notifier. And then the policy kit I use is the uh, LX policy kit. Um, this, this is just a backup file of this. This is the menu. I didn't actually, I don't actually need it here. It's just the default one, but this one is a modified one. So here you got your key bindings for, and among other settings, but here I'm just going to focus on key bindings. For example, I got this for my, um, Pac-Man or PC, I shouldn't say Pac-Man, PC man FM file manager, right? So if I wanted another one, if I wanted another key binding, I would copy this here. I would paste control C control V I would change it. Um, um, say, I don't know. I'm just going to make something up uh, V right. And then that's for my volume icon, whatever, uh, Powboo control. Right. And then I would save it. That was an example. So I don't want that there. And, uh, yeah. So in this section, you got your tiling for your um, your snap to windows. So it's not like an XFCE where you just uh, point, you know, uh, point to a GUI option and uh, just click your key bindings and then it'll all set it up for you. you now for this one, for OpenBox, for the same functionality, you have to enter a bunch of code here basically to get the same function as uh, in XFCE. So when it's all said and done, it does the same thing. I'll, I can just show you here. I'm going to hold on to the super key and hit my number pad uh, buttons. And it basically does the same thing as it does in XFCE, but it's much easier in XFCE to configure. Now, technically, I didn't, I didn't configure all this. I didn't have to figure all this out. I just uh, found it in Maybox, I believe, and I just cut and paste what I needed, and then I saved the RCML file as a backup. So whenever I use OpenBox, I just copy this file over, and it's got all my settings that I need uh, for OpenBox. Um, and here is the file, oh, it's the folder for all my OpenBox themes. What you're seeing here is the Simply Circles Dark. Uh, a theme but I modified it a bit I had to go to this file here I had to go to the settings and then, to be honest I don't remember what I uh, I altered is one of these things window but is something with the window button hover but uh, uh, if I spend some time I could find out but I'm not gonna bother right now but basically I changed these uh, uh, these colors here so when you hover you got this nice red here and then the one that is in the back is um, not not active it's got this teal color here so that I modified this theme a little bit to get uh, those uh, effects there mm -hmm. so that's the rabbit hole you go down to when you explore these different desktop environments and window managers there's so much choice, and I'm only scratching the surface here. There's so much more window managers to choose from. I haven't even covered the auto tiling window managers. But, you know, choice is freedom. The freedom to customize is one of the beauties of Linux, in my opinion. You're only limited by your imagination, your willingness to learn. And I've learned a lot after going down this little rabbit hole. And I've enjoyed the journey. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please share, like, and subscribe. But until next time, 
Take care, everybody.